Alrighty folks, what's up? W Drums here. We're back doing some more unboxings. We are now doing part five, I believe. We are finishing up with uh, more of the vehicles. So I'm really excited. Let's get right into it. So we've got Sky Slicer. Awesome. So this is more of a simplistic design, but it's slick. It's very clean looking. This is very straight to the point kind of vehicle. Which sometimes you, you need, you know? Less is more. And Stormblade, I believe, gets this vehicle. So that's cool though. That's like, I think, at least three characters that I have that have um, their vehicle. So that's neat. At least three. So Stormblade, there's um, Fiesta, Summering Guy, it's and Stealth Elf, that's four, five, it's like five or six or so. So that's awesome. Gonna have a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy, folks. Jeez. It's called the Sky Slicer. Okay. So check this out. Oh, you see that? It just sliced the sky. My apologies. Look at that. Look at that cool cockpit. Nice little steering wheel in there. Really slick looking vehicle. Kind of reminds me of a Star Fox kind of paint job from the old days of N64. You guys know what I'm talking about if you came from the 90s. That's what's up. Um, yeah, so look at that. Very clean. Nice base with the air element. Cool. Very heavy. Very heavy. Does it roll? Nah, it doesn't. So it's only the uh, roadsters, it seems, that do the um, wheel rolling. Here's the sticker. Next up, we have Eruptor's vehicle called the Burn Cycle. This thing is ridiculously cool. I cannot wait to play with this one. Holy cow, did they go all out with him. Just Unreal, the design that was put into that, the thought. My goodness, Activision. I don't know how you keep doing it, guys. But I'll be there supporting you 100% of the way, because this is my passion, folks. About doing what you love, folks. Don't forget that. Oh, my goodness, this is cool. Ah, the sticker got a little bent. Bummer. Wow, man, look at this thing. Oh, what's it called again? The burn cycle. Dude, look at this thing. So not only do you have the molten rock, which I've loved from Eruptor since the first uh, game, you've got this amazing flame, like molten magma spinner wheel. There's two of them. But I think it's supposed to be the illusion of one wheel, I believe, maybe? I, don't, I might be wrong. Just look at that ridiculous detail of the exhaust pipes in the back that are going to be like shooting out lava, I guess, or something. My goodness, man. And I love the little handlebars. It really comes off like a, more like a motorcycle. That is just incredible. Then here's his sticker. And finally we have Dive Bomber. Hold on just a sec. Sorry, I had to charge my camera. It was about to die. So, here we go. So, we've got the dive bomber. This is for that underwater dive guy. Which I already forget his name. <laughs> I'm so tired, it's not even funny. So, we got a submarine, man. Nice. So, I'm definitely sensing some underwater levels, possibly. Mm hmm. Dive bomber. Oh, this is nice. 
cool. Oh, ho, ho. oh definitely show you guys that on camera. Wow, nice. Okay, so here we go. We got the dive bomber. It's a submarine, baby. So look at the front of that. Wow. And then check out the detail. The color matches him perfectly. He's got the missiles down here, or the air canisters. I don't know what the heck they are, honestly. You got the ladder. Now check this out. Watch this. The hatch that you, the latch you open up the door with, actually spins it. So it's you're interacting with it like an actual submarine. That's so awesome. And it's uh, like see-through, which is really cool too. So you can actually just see what's going on in there. So all very cool things. Here is his card. So that was all the vehicles for this video, folks. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for unboxing part six, I believe, and then we'll be done and then getting into some gameplay. Uh, I do apologize for my camera almost dying. I don't know if I'm going to edit it out or not, honestly, because I don't. I'd rather just get these unboxing videos done. So, yeah, guys. Uh, just thank you for watching. As always, have a great day and God bless you. Peace.